When you leave, there's always a sense of excitement and intrepidation. It can be really, really tough. Long drives, uncomfortable. Do really grueling hikes, all sorts of illnesses we can encounter. You're in the middle of nowhere. Difficult terrain. But then all of a sudden, you go over a ridge, and there are the trees. There may be as many as 70,000 species of plants that are not yet known to science. We like to represent as diverse a collection as possible. So how are we going to find them if we don't go looking for them? The idea of the plant hunter has been around for hundreds of years. But here at Kew, we, we have a really modern take on it. We always work in close collaboration with our partners overseas. And we're also deploying a whole range of new technologies, such as drones uh, remote sensing, to make the most of the opportunities we have in the field. The other side, understanding the condition of the vegetation and trying to locate uh, new populations that will be important to us in understanding their conservation needs for the future. There's maybe as many as 200 new species are described by Q scientists uh, every year. Scientists from all around the world come here to use our collections to write monographs, to write papers on, on particular species. So it's, if you like, a living reference library. Calicedrus formazana, the uh, Taiwanese incense cedar, is a, it's a very rare tree in cultivation and in the wild. The, there's a small population on this one mountain in Taiwan. We mounted an expedition and there are over 300 mountains over two and a half thousand metres high. The conditions can be quite arduous. You're tired, you're homesick. Can't tell you the elation and the, the amazing feeling when you see these and you just think whatever, that was worth the pain and every minute to, to find this tree. We collect the seeds, we dry them. We collect herbarium specimens that come back to the herbarium here at Kew. The Dioscoria deltoidea is a species of yam from India in the Himalayas. It's one of about 650 species of yam that are found worldwide all across the tropics and into more temperate zones as well. Uh, it's a particularly interesting species because it has an underground rhizome, a branching structure, uh, and that rhizome contains a, a lot of steroids. So people have been using Dioscora deltoidea for a long time as a source of steroidal compounds so to use as medicine. So the principal threats to species of yam, habitat loss, vegetation loss, climate change also for plants that are montane. Uh, so as the, the, the climate changes, they have to move further and further up mountains. Uh, eventually they can't go any further. So that's when you end up with extinction. The example I generally talk about with yams is, is, is this species from South Africa. Like Dioscora deltoidea, it contains steroids. Uh, when I visited the site where it occurs in 2011, we thought it had something like five years to uh, carry on existing in the wild. It, principally, it's now in our Millennium Seed Bank and in collections in South Africa. It is the most threatened yam in the world. It's critically endangered. Uh, we're doing what we can with, with colleagues in South Africa to try and conserve it. So Q is absolutely rooted in its field working history. It's why we have these amazing collections on which all our science rests. We can't stop here. We can't build everything we do on the specimens we have already. We have to keep looking. Um, if we don't keep looking, we'll never know what we're missing. <laughs>